Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to do a quick check-in today because I'm in the middle of doing some personal readings and I am attempting to get caught up. I'm never caught up on them. I am still booking for January and do please reach out via email. It is linked below. Today, the souls of the departed children are coming through very strongly and they are wanting to be heard. I don't talk about this very often in my videos because much of it has actually made, we've made progress. The amount of children that have been saved is tremendous and the effort of the light in this regard is winning. But the reason that so much goes unbelieved, I guess you'd say disbelieved, is because humans cannot hold that there could be this amount of abuse actually happening. It gives them cognitive dissonance. It turns them into a state of it's so much uh, dark energy that the average human can't hold it as truth. So instead, they point fingers towards people who are spouting this truth as if we are have some sort of, um, get some sort of pleasure out of it. I mean, I don't really understand what this is about other than uh, an inability to see through something that is very demonic, but it doesn't make it any less true. So we're gonna ask the Keepers of the Light for a little bit more on this information. As it seems, I have held out and saying this for a while, that the dark timeline, the shadowy timeline in the United States, and honestly in every Western country in the world, um, seems to be taking a hold. And my advice and the advice of the guides is to detach from this timeline, to only focus on yourself, your loved ones, your earth that you want to build, your fifth dimension, your infinite abundance, Lord Ganesh is really giving you some hope and optimism here. This is about obstacles being removed support and connections. So yeah, I feel like the more that you consciously detach and choose a higher timeline for yourself, the more reward you're going to get. So, you know, while the world and the rest of the 3D crumbles, it really is best to detach because we create our own reality. We align vibrationally with what we're a match to. And if you choose not to live in fear, then you won't. Okay. So we're also getting Krishna devotion. Um, trust your spiritual guidance. Yeah, so you are loved unconditionally from your guides, from your ancestors. You are the builders of the new earth. You're, you know, your focus is really meant to be finally recognized. And then we're getting Serenos life force. I'm feeling again that there's a lot of very passionate energy going on right now. There's a need to create in every way. And you're going to see more babies being born. <laughs> this took a little bit of a different turn. But the children are really excited about this. That you can actually can hear their souls are, you know, they want humans to live and prosper and be um, in this new earth that they suffered and died for us to detach from the matrix for us to wake up for us to now be expressing and driving our passions forward sensual and sexual powers are increased so you're going to see people embracing sensuality and sexuality in a larger way in a healthy way is what i'm hearing and we're also going to just look at um you know these are really the energies of the new earth is what i'm picking up on because the the guides want to just really acknowledge and reinforce that the old matrix is not real. It's a, a completely an illusion timeline. The goddess is with us. I mean, this goddess energy, this passion is really coming through. Feminine energy expressed through wisdom and nature. So this is like the new guardians of the earth are going to be like a goddess uh, collective, they're going to be this 
uh, mindset, this like energy of beauty and peace and love and you know, all the things that we really have lost along the way as we gave rise to the patriarchy. As the patriarchy crumbles, let's see what we're getting here. You're going to see the rise of the divine feminine. Ag the rebel and the slave. The rebel keeps coming out here. Yeah, these goddesses are leading the charge. It's the feminine energy that really the protectors of the innocent that has been triggered the most in this last year. So, you know, they're we're trying to free the slaves. We're trying to free you from humans, not you. If anyone watching this is also part of the leadership, I feel, the light worker leadership. So we're trying to free and expose the fact that they've turned humans into slaves to their own minds, that they don't even know they're being mind controlled. Uh, surrender your power of choice to the divine. That's what we actually are wanting is for everyone to wake up to the divine in themselves. And if that's considered a rebellious act, so be it. Messiah. Shapeshifter. Uh -huh, just point that out. <laughs> this is a fake um, the fake entities that are shapeshifters and uh, they have these messiah complexes that are not real exaggerated beliefs and they're leading people right off of a cliff but we have to stay away from all of that because you have to you really have to just save yourself and be an example of truth and light and health I'm hearing stay very healthy because as we move into this shadowy timeline, your health will be used against you, your mental health and your physical health. Whale and Orca elders. The healing uh, properties, frequencies of sound will be also very helpful at this time. So if you do meditations, listen to it, listen to it with a certain hertz frequency that you feel like you resonate with. Diving deep. This is a need for people to start to research and take their matters into their own hands. We cannot lead someone to the truth. They are, if they are interested in what we have to say, you have, have to start to research yourself and encourage people to do their own research. I tell people all the time that this stuff is very easy to find. If I find it all over the years easily, you just have to start to really resonate with what the truth feels like. And the problem is people have been so distanced from real truth and from their own sovereignty and connection to the divine that it, they don't even know what the truth is any longer. So yeah, call and support with your star family. You are a team of souls. And this is all of your light being spirit guides. Everyone is around us at all times, even if they're not visible to you. They are visible to some of us, uh, but they are really, there are more in the unseen than there are in this realm. Many souls wish to incarnate on earth right now. I'm also hearing, this is a lot of these uh, new children coming in as a result of all the sexual energy <laughs> that are going to start to raise the frequency. So these new children, babies over the next seven years are going to start to raise the vibration of earth. And the thing is that they've also known about this. So, you know, this, all of this awakening in 2020 has, is the reason why everything was planned to transpire last year it was to it was designed to try to keep people from waking up so i want to keep this under 10 minutes and i hope it wasn't too all over the place i never know um i just read the cards as i see them so uh take good care everyone and i'll check back in very soon with another video